Hello my dear students welcome back I am Rahul and in this video I am going to discuss how we can prepare the alcohols. There are various methods are there we can prepare the alcohols but for the your syllabus whatever it is mentioned we discuss that. The first method is from the alkenes that is the first one that is from alkenes. Alkenes and from the alkenes we can prepare the alcohols by two methods. The first method that I am going to discuss right now that is the acid catalyzed acid catalyzed catalyzed that is hydration hydration this is one of the important method also acid catalyzed hydration and we'll see the reaction first we have to take alkene for example generally we can represent R single bond CH double bond CH2 obviously this molecule is a unsymmetrical alkene you can take a symmetrical alkene also and then it is reacting with the water molecule H2O and it produces here the alcohol that should be happen only in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 okay so now here in the product side we get the R CH single bond CH2 and here what happens there is one hydrogen get attached to a hydrogen which is, which is having more number of hydrogens that follows the Morganic of rules here it should be the hydrogen and the negative part of the reagent goes to that carbon which contains less number of hydrogens that is OH goes to a, this carbon. Now we'll see the mechanism also for this reaction. Mechanism. Mechanism. Well, we are going to discuss the mechanism here. The mechanism in, uh, includes here three steps. The step number one. Step one. So here in the step number one. So whatever the H plus ions are there. That is furnished by the sulfuric acid. It is taken by the water. Okay. Protonation of water. Protonation of water and in the protonation of water what happens we have a sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 and this sulfuric acid reacting with water that is H2O and we get a product here H3O plus okay and along with that we get here HSO4 minus and this conjugate base we will use in the last step so this is a hydronium ion hydronium ion Okay, so whatever the hydronium ion it is produced, it attacks uh, with a, uh, that alkene. Okay, we'll see that reaction what happens here in the same step. So here I'm going to write R, CH, double bond, CH2. This is unsymmetrical alkene. And we have here hydronium ion that I'm going to write here structure. That is H, O, here is hydrogen. And here is one hydrogen. Oxygen should carry here positive charge because it lost electron in the formation with a uh, bond formation with the hydrogen here. And there is still lone pair of electrons exist on the oxygen. Now what happens? The uh, pi bond present between the two carbons get migrate towards any one of the hydrogen. And whatever the bonding electrons are there between oxygen and hydrogen get migrate back to the oxygen. Because here oxygen is unstable. And we get here the product that is R CH single bond CH2. And here the hydrogen get attached. I just represent here the hydrogen is attached here. And along with that we get here product that is H2O. You just notice here that this carbon, the middle carbon loses a pi bond here and therefore it carries here plus sign. This is the carbon which carrying a plus sign here. Okay. And remember that here the this addition of the H plus across it, this double bond follows the Markovnikov's rule that you have to keep in the mind. Then move to the next. This, this you can notice here. This is a secondary carbocation. Secondary carbocation. Carbocation. Okay, this is one part. Next, we move to the step number two. Step number two. In the step number two, the water act here as a nucleophile. Let's see what is the reaction here. We have here carbocation. There is R, CH, single bond CH2. And here is hydrogen is attached. And still there is positive charge on the secondary carbon. Okay. Now what happens? We have water molecule in the reaction mixture plus H2O. And oxygen having a lone pair of electrons here. Now these lone pair of electrons get attached to this electron deficient carbon. And because of that what we get here. So protonated alcohol we get. That is R, CH, single bond CH2. And here is one hydrogen is there. This is a hydrogen. And this side we have here O, H2. And oxygen lost a pair of electrons here. And therefore positive charge. But still there is a lone pair of electrons exists with the oxygen. And this molecule is known as a protonated alcohol. 
protonated alcohol okay so now move to the next step step number 3 step 3 in the step number 3 the removal of the proton takes place that's the deprotonation step it is so we have in the reaction mixture in the starting i told you that there is a conjugate base that is hso4 minus hso4 minus want the proton here that proton should be donated by the protonated alcohol plus what we have here r ch and here we have that is oh h here positive charge on oxygen one pair of electrons then we have here single bond ch2 and here is one hydrogen now this that uh, negative charge take this proton at the same time the electrons present between the hydrogen and oxygen get migrate towards this oxygen and we get a product here that is h2so4 it is regenerated and along with that we get here r ch and here it should be the oh and here single bond ch2 and we get here h this obviously follows the morganic ops rule no doubt in that so this is alcohol alcohol so one thing you have to remember that this protonated alcohol this protonated alcohol protonated alcohol is strong acid strong acid and therefore it donates its a proton to the conjugate base that is hso4 